Okay, we are going to continue in this video with derivatives of trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 494 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. The curve with the equation this function has one stationary point in the interval this. Now, this is very nice because it's just the, four, the first quadrant and also take note it's in radians. Find the exact x coordinate of this point. So not the full, just the x value. Now, the first thing is we must differentiate and we're going to use the quotient rule. So we rewrite the denominator, we differentiate the numerator, minus. We rewrite the numerator, we differentiate the denominator and we square the denominator. Okay, that's what I just take note, it's 2, so it's 2 cos 2x and this one, there's a 2, so it's 2e to the power of 2x. Now, if you're going to do, you can take out e to the power 2x as a common factor. Then you end up with this and this. Now, can I just show you? Um, I think, if you don't, because this was e to the power 2x and then it becomes 4x. I would like to make it a little bit bigger. So you can see that small numbers. Good. So I just want to show you here. What you basically can do is if this one was, remember, e to the power 2x times e to the power 2x. I think you will see it better that this is now cancelling with this. And that's why I end up at this step. Only with e to the power of 2x. Okay. Then... Uh, when it's stationary points, you put it equal to zero. Now, don't forget it's over one. So if you multiply, then this, this will become zero and you end up. And again, I want to show you. If you have, if you have um, two bracket cos 2x minus sin x equals, you're going to have now, equals zero. So you just divide by two, divide by two. Then you end up with cos 2x and then they take that one over sin, I forgot the two there, there was a two, sin 2x. Did you see that? Okay, now I said divide both sides by sin 2x. It's not incorrect. Uh, you will end up with this, but I, I think, and I will, want to show you this in the video. If you divide both sides by that, so you're going to have cos 2x equals sin 2x. It, it will give you that step. So, but if you divide by sin 2x, divide sin 2x, you're actually going to get cot 2x is equal to 1. But if you want to make it to tan 2x, because it's you just take the reciprocal, which will stay 1. Okay. But I think it would have been better if I rather say divide by, hmm, let's just get that pen correct, divide by cos 2x. Always try to go directly to tan because if you were doing that, I just want to get that, then you would have said, okay, can I show you? Then you would have said divide by cos 2x cos 2x and then you would have skipped this step and you would have directly go into 1 equals tan 2x. Okay, so rather always try to go directly to tan. Okay, but now I have um, 2x. Now, don't forget, leave that 2x first. Think of your triangle. Okay, special triangles. This is 1, 1 square root 2. This is pi over 4. So if I look at this 1, it's going to be tan. Do you see 1? So it's going to be this pi over 4. Okay, but don't forget that's 2. So then I'm just going to divide by 2. And I, I'm actually going to say, let me show it to you again here. It's pi over 4 divide by 2, but it's 2 over 1. So it can be written as pi over 4, multiply 1 over 2, and that will bring you to pi over 8. And that's the final answer. Okay. 
let's just go a little bit smaller. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 23. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's first write down the function, always. Okay, it's an e and don't forget it's 3x over sin 3x. So first we're going to differentiate dy by dx. Okay, it's the quotient rule. So I rewrite the denominator and I differentiate the numerator. I subtract. I rewrite the numerator and I differentiate the denominator. And I square the denominator. Okay. So basically, I'm going to do it now. So it's sin 3x. If I differentiate this, it's going to be 3e3x minus e3x multiply 3. And don't forget, sin becomes what? Cos 3x. And that's over going to be sin. You can say square, otherwise leave it like this. Then, what am I going to do now? I'm going to now go and I'm going to, I can already do it or I can do it in the final step. I can now, yes, let's first leave it like that. I, I um, Let me just say it like this. Stationary points. At stationary points. dy by dx is equal to 0. So this is going to become 0. So I'm going to, I will now take it out as a common factor. So I'm going to just move it up a little bit. And I'm going to say 0 or sin 3x. I'm going to put this um, 3e e to the power of 3x in front. And then minus, I'll show you now why. Again, I put the 3 in front. You see that 3? And that's equal 0. But don't forget, put it over 1. So if I'm going to cross multiply, this is going to become 0. So I'm just ending up with 3e, e, and I, I could have do that step now, but I will do it in the next one. I could have taken the common factor out already. But don't forget, if you multiply, 0. So that denominator is becoming 0. Now take out that 3e, e, 3x as a common factor. And then you have sin 3x minus cos 3x, and that's equal to 0. And now you have 2. So now you're going to have 3e, 3x is equal to 0, or, and now I'm going to have sin 3x minus cos 3x is equal to 0. Now, can I just show you, if, if you divide by 3, if you're going to end up here with 3x, because you divide 3 is 0, if you want to take it to law or, law or len or log form, rather len, because it's e, then you're going to end up with len 0, and that's undefined. So this is not, it's undefined. It's going to give you a maths error. So I'm only working with this one. And let's just take it over. Let's just make it, um, let's just get the pen. 
sin free x equals cos free x. And again, try to, to, to get rather a tan. So I divide by sin free x and I divide by sin free x. So I'm going to get one. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to divide by sin free x. Can you see why? Oh, I didn't concentrate. I'm going to divide rather by cos free x. It's not going, you can just swap at the end. It's not really going to make it. It's just an extra step. Okay, so this is going to become tan free x. And that is going to become 1. Okay, now again I have 1. So I go again to my special triangles. Don't forget your special triangle. Mm, let's just get it there. Okay, it's the 45. So, or the pi over 4. So this is going to become... Mm, let's get another color. 1, 1, square root 2. And that's pi. It's 45, so it's pi over 4. So if it's tan, tan, 1 over 1. So what will the angle be? So I will say that 3x... Mm, let's keep it blue. 3x is equal to pi over 4. Due to the special triangles. And now I'm just going to say... I divide 3, I divide 3. So x is equal to pi over 4. Remember this is over 1, so it's 1 over 3. The final answer is pi over 12. And what is the question? Let's go back to the question. What is the question? Find the exact, exact, that should have tell you special angles. X coordinate of this point. So don't work it out as a decimal. So therefore, I like to end nice. Therefore, the x coordinate of the stationary point is pi over 12. And if you should have worked out the y, not, not in this question, you would have substituted this into the original function or equation.